Hello friends, this video on mensuration part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at finding out the area of a rectangle. So we have already learned about perimeter that is the boundary. Now let's see how do we find out the area of a rectangle. So this is our rectangle. Now how much space does this rectangle enclose? So let's make use of the squared paper. So we made use of the small squares just to get an idea like how do we calculate the area of the rectangle. So when you look at this, so how many squares are included are present inside the rectangle. So if you start numbering the squares, you would see it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So there are a total 15 squares inside this rectangle right now how many squares do you have along the length of the rectangle so this is the length of the rectangle you have one two three four five squares so there are five squares along the length of the rectangle and how many squares do you have along the breadth you have three squares so how many total squares do you have that is nothing but five into three because there are five squares in three different rows Right. So total how many squares do you have? 5 multiplied by 3. So if I ask you to find out the area, the area would be 5 into 3 square units because the area of each square is 1 square units. Therefore, the area of this rectangle would be 15 square units because total 15 squares are included inside this rectangle. So with this concept in mind, we can say that the area of a rectangle is always given by length multiplied by breadth. So in this case, 5 was nothing but length and 3 was nothing but, but breadth. So if you know the measurement of the length and the breadth of the rectangle, you can find out its perimeter. You can also find out its area. Unit for area of a rectangle is meter square or centimeter square. Now, why is it square? That's because we are multiplying one length with another length. So, like the length is in meter, the breadth is also in meter. So, you are multiplying meter with meter or you are multiplying centimeter with centimeter or kilometer with kilometer. So, obviously, the area unit for area would be kilometer square or meter square or centimeter square. So, that is where, why we often say square units. So that unit could be meter, centimeter, kilometer, decimeter, but overall the unit for area is meter square, centimeter square. So that's important. So on similar lines, we can also find out the area of a square. So area of a square is, is side into side. That is when you look at the square, again you put it inside, um, uh, put it over a squared paper. So how many squares are there inside it? So when you look at its side, here this side also there are four squares and this side also there are four squares and that's quite obvious that's because all the sides of the square are equal. So on each side you will have same number of squares. So basically four squares in four rows. So total number of squares would be four into four that is 16 square units. So for this particular square its area would be 16 square units but in general area of any square can be found out by using the length of each side that is side into side gives the area of a square thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you